Hi there. If you clicked on this link, it probably means that you have a toddler who has either gone on a food jag where they haven't eaten broccoli or some other vegetable or food, which is super common. Again, if you have a toddler, you would know that this is very common. In today's video, I'm going to share how I got my toddler to eat broccoli. I'm Talia the dietitian and today's video is all about broccoli. <laughs> so I brought a prop. Um, what I wanted to talk about was that it's not unusual for toddlers to go through stages, days, or even a couple of weeks without wanting to eat broccoli or um, a different vegetable. So what I wanted to give you today are some tips for helping your toddler get past those little food jags so it doesn't become a problem. And so the way I did this, my daughter, my second daughter is quite a bit more finicky than my first one. My first one would pretty much eat anything and still pretty much does, where my second one, even though we did everything the same, she just tends to be a little bit more on the selective side. And there will be days where she will really go to town on her broccoli and she will eat four serves of it. And then, one one week we make broccoli and she won't touch it and that'll go on even though we're giving her repeated exposures you know a couple two three times a week no pressure to eat it and she just won't touch it and that's you know normal up to a point and so <laughs> the recent time we made broccoli we were unsure if she was going to eat it or not so we decided we would ask her she's a big fan of parmesan cheese at the moment and so we asked her we gave her the choice would you like to have Parmesan cheese or mozzarella cheese on your broccoli today? And she picked Parmesan cheese. Guess what? She ate four serves of the Parmesan cheese broccoli and there was really nothing else to it. There was no trickery. There's no bribing, forcing her to eat it or me sitting there going, oh, this is delicious broccoli. Like, let's, let's eat our broccoli. Like it's not about that at all. Um, and really the way I've, I raised both my children and the methods that I teach to my clients and in my courses are based on being honest and building trust with our children because that will serve us in so many other areas of parenting, including at the table and at mealtimes. And we want them to trust us and not think we're tricking them. Think of somebody that you may know who has tried to convince you of something or trick you and you get this feeling like you know when someone's not being genuine. Your kid knows it too. And and they they pick up on it and they don't they don't really like it. So building that trust and building that honesty is the best way to get the long term results that you want, which is that your child will want to eat the broccoli without being forced or made to eat it by you or your spouse. And that's really the long term goal is that they have a healthy relationship with food and a healthy diet because at some point they're going to be teenagers and you're not gonna be able to force them. You're not gonna be able to bribe them. They're gonna make their own choices. And same once they're an adult, we want them to pick the broccoli because they actually like it and not because they were forced to eat it. That makes them not want to eat it. If you feel like you need more guidance, tips and strategies on picky eating, I have a course that I will link in the description called Mealtimes Without Meltdowns. And it covers the whole method that I teach, how to implement everything step by step, how to uh, build trust around food with your child, how to get them to eat new foods and foods that they haven't wanted for a while, like for example, broccoli, um, with lots of ways to get them involved without giving up your sanity and boundaries. And I am also taking new clients. I will link that in the description as well if you want to apply to work with me because you need more help than what a course can give you. And I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe, like the video, share it with a mum friend or dad friend who may also find it helpful. And thank you so much for watching. This is Talia the Dietitian. Bye bye. There's a lot of nutrition information out there. I am a dietitian and this is my specialty and I'm here to help you.